Hey everyone, this is Karen Waxman, founder of Retail MBA. Today we're going to be talking about HEB. So if you have a great product, perfect for their stores, this little training will give you some things to think about in regards to HEB. With that said, let's get started on today's training. So let's talk about HEB. It is a privately held supermarket chain based in Texas. It has over 350 stores that they're responsible for, mostly in the United States and Texas and so forth. So that's a really big deal. They also have locations in Mexico. The things to think about in regards to them is that they sell anything from bakery, dairy foods, general grocery, meat, pharmacy, all, all that good stuff that they currently sell on grocery chains. They also sell stuff like medics and, and all the basics and stuff. So there's a few things to note about selling to them. Number one, they typically uh, buy on a corporate level, meaning they have corporate buyers, but they also tend to also have local and regional buyers because they're a grocery chain, which basically means that on a local store level, they buy perishable foods and so forth. So they always need buyers on a local level who have their own buying budgets and so forth. What that means is that they typically allow either their store manager or their regional manager to for individual stores. So you don't have to technically sell the 350 stores based on whatever your product is. They tend to have local and regional buyers as well. So that's something to consider. Now, before you approach them, please learn how to speak to them because you can definitely go after retailers and not do very well. And we don't want that for you. We want you to learn exactly how to approach pitch and sell them correctly, which is why I do what I do. But I want to give you some ideas and things to they have local, regional, and corporate buyers. That's a very big deal. Not all retailers offer that, meaning that you could drive in your car and go to their local, your local store and see if you can sell to them on an individual store basis. Again, please learn how to deal with that if you're going to go that route, but it can be very exciting. I've had clients who literally go store to store, opening up accounts and so forth, and then they work with the corporate buyers and so forth. So you can start small and grow that. Another cool thing about HEB is that they started opening these plus stores, H-E-B plus, and there's not that many of them, but it's a new way of selling products. And the reason I mentioned that is because they started to expand their non-food categories. So in these certain stores, they're adding stuff, all sorts of varieties. They're selling do-it-yourself products, Texas backyard products, baby card and party products, cosmetics, entertainment, housewares and toys. They're trying to grow their size of their store, and then also what they're actually selling, basically to focus on non-food categories, which is a big deal for some of you who are trying to grow your business and maybe you don't have a food product, but you know, grocery chains could be interesting for you. And so one thing to think about is HEB plus stores, definitely something to consider. The other thing is that HEB has locations in Mexico. And the reason that matters is usually the buyer in Mexico has a different buying power, different budget than the one in the United States. And so something to consider is you could conceivably sell to separate buyers in Mexico versus the United States. And so even though it's the same company. So those are just some fun facts and things to think about in regards to selling to HEB. Basically, they're like the 12th largest retailer in the United States, which is pretty big in terms of revenue. This obviously changes as retailers grow, but it can be a very great opportunity. And one of the reasons I decided to create these little videos is because some of you guys have never even thought about these grocery chains. So I try to share light on them because maybe you don't live in Texas or whatever. And so you're not paying attention to certain retailers. So just because you live in another state doesn't mean that you shouldn't go after these types of stores. Anyways, hope this provided value for you. If you want to learn exactly how to approach pitch and sell HEB grocery company, definitely take a look at my website, retailmba.com. We have free content. We also have advanced retail training on exactly how to approach pitch and sell to retail chains that you can purchase. We also have live events and certification programs and anything related to making money with the physical product and so forth. So definitely take a look at that or just subscribe to our channel and be on the lookout for free content that we create. Our ultimate goal is just to help you. So again, Karen Waxman, hope this provided value for you. Please be on the lookout for the next training that we create. And we really appreciate you and your business. Thanks so much.